we write the story Tonight we're forever young Tonight we're forever young And I There's still love for everyone There's still love for everyone We are here for the reason now. This is our life. This is what counts. This is for us. I will go anywhere for you. I will go anywhere for you. This is all part of the vision. Our founder, Wayne Nugent, is a visionary, and he envisioned this finally coming to fruition. And so we're at the right place at the right time. When people get their hands on this, they're gonna actually realize how amazing and how valuable this really is. If we get to travel together as a family, which we didn't always get to do when we were younger. It brought us a lot closer together as well. It's really cool that we were able to do that together. I love it. <laughs> This is the next level of the environment. I mean, literally the ideas, the fun and the connection that we have on these trips are just amazing. Yeah, the relationships that we get to build here and take to a higher level, and we're really having fun with our closest friends. Wild Ventures has turned my life around because now I'm able to spend all my time with my family, all thanks to Wild Ventures. You touch base with yourself and you become a better human being. The fun is absolutely out of this world. Should be fired up right now guys if you won't mind before we get going why don't you just post otc on your groups very quickly you want your team to know that you're on the call with us and you obviously want uh, people to see your name how would they know you if you don't put your name on the group guys so good morning good morning guys hope everybody's well so you know this morning is really just about connecting with you guys and saying hope that you've had a great week and saturday is the start of our week so this is the day that andrew and i we do quite a lot of personal growth on a saturday and we then plan our next week. So, you know, it's vital, vital, vital that you get into consistent habits and building these habits is what's gonna get you the success in the long run. So are we gonna watch a video this morning? Absolutely. Okay, so I, I don't know what the video is, so I'm gonna be seeing it first with you guys. Absolutely, guys. So this is your start the week Saturday. As you know, the World Ventures Week always starts on a Saturday and finishes on a Friday. So the whole idea is on a Saturday for us just to touch base with you guys, help a little bit of inviting, help you set up your week for next week as well, and to get a little bit of production going. So we always start off with a celebrity that we follow on social media. And what I love to do is just connect you guys with the world. And these are people that we are following ourselves. 
And if you guys have been obviously following us um, on the Saturday training, you'll notice that we are following a blue ticked celebrities, influencers on, on Instagram. And we like to connect you with these people. And we want you guys to follow them as well because they post really, really good, valuable content. And these are like our online mentors. So the next one is Dan Locke. He's Asian, as you can see. And he's known as the Asian Dragon. You know, he's got a very, very good track record in terms of business. He's a CEO and investor of a company. He's a mentor. He's an influencer. He's got really, really good content, guys. You know, so, you know, just look at the 1.7 billion social media views alone. So this guy knows what he's talking about. And he posts some really, really good stuff. So take a screenshot of this Dan Lock Blue Tick. Um, influencer follow him guys you can see he's got 1.7 million followers i wish i had that on my instagram yeah. and you can see exactly why he is who he is so we're going to share a quick video and the one that i've selected for today for you guys is how to stop bad habits because we all have these little habits that creep in and this is the little negativity on our shoulder that talks us into not waking up on time and not picking up the phone on a saturday to make those calls um, maybe finding an excuse not to do a presentation because we've got a favorite uh, program on Netflix that is coming up. So we've got certain things that creep in. And I thought this is quite appropriate that we start our Friday or our Saturday off with some new habits. So let's listen to this quick video, uh, probably two minutes, and then we'll recap afterwards. In my previous video, I talked about that I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I don't do drugs. And I've been getting some questions about then how do I stop these unhealthy habits? What should I do? I want to be able to quit smoking. I want to quit drinking. I want to be healthier. But why is it so fucking difficult to stop? Why is it so difficult to quit? It's very simple. You smoke because you're a smoker. What I mean by that is because that's what you do. You are who you are. So you smoke because you're a smoker. It's very, very simple. When you talk to a non-smoker, just like myself, I cannot even stand the cigarette smell. I was like, oh my God, oh, it makes me cough. It makes me feel uneasy. It makes me nauseous. I think it's, the smell is disgusting because I'm a non-smoker. It's not like, oh my God, oh, when, I, when I see that cigarette, oh man, would love to get a puff. No, I don't even want it near me, anywhere near me. Why? Because I am a non-smoker. So it's not a struggle. It is not a challenge for me not smoke. Same thing with you. It's challenging because that's how you see yourself. So if you want to stop any unhealthy habits, instead of working on the habits, work on the core. Work on the core of who you are. When you change the core of who you are, it's easy to change the habits. That's why people who try to quit smoking, they cannot. They try to stop doing drugs, they cannot, because that's how they see themselves. You cannot outperform and outgrow your self-image. It's not about self-discipline, it is about self-image. Wow. So, well, you know, there, there's a lot of things that came out of that, and I think if you watch it for two minutes, um, you kind of scroll to the next video, right? And if you pause and actually read between the lines and you break it down, there's a lot of applications that he can put in and, and, and his analogy with cigarettes is like anything else it's like a diet it's like starting gym uh, we know that on the first of january after the bad uh, holiday season and over the e overeating and overindulging everybody rushes to the gym but the habit of staying in a good habit of training um, they don't do that and that's why they quit so it's like anything else in life so let's just break it down very quickly and and, and i just want to share a couple of takeaways that that i got from that video myself it might help you guys as well if you're feeling a little bit stuck right now if you've got a bad habit it doesn't have to be smoking it could be waking up late it could be um, a habit of not paying enough attention to your world ventures business maybe a habit of not putting enough hours um, there's a whole lot of things so very quickly you know Quitting um, any bad habit, as you know, is, is very, very difficult. Um, it all starts with um, making the decision um, mentally that you want to change it. Otherwise, you'll always say, I'll have another cigarette, I'll have another drink, right? So as he said, you are who you are. You shape your own habits based on the decisions that you make. So your habits are a direct reflection of what you do and say, right? And we know that for sure. So instead of working on the habit, like he says, work on the core the root of the habit 
um, you know, of, of who you are, so which is basically your identity. We all need to work on our identity, you know, to, to know who we are and what we want to get out of life. And, you know, what our bad habits are, we need to identify those as well. And if you change those, the, the, the core, then obviously it'll, it'll change your habits. So what I've done is I thought, let's just talk about that very quickly. Um, getting into a good habit, um, no matter what it is, is very, very easy. Firstly, and these are the steps that I want you guys to screenshot, is make a decision to change it. So if you're doing something right now that you know is not good, and maybe it gives you anxiety like we spoke about last week, um, you know, the anticipation of future pain, we're doing something wrong right now. We know there's going to be a consequence of it later, right? So make a decision today to change that, whatever it might be. And then, guys, you need to commit to that. It's pointless doing it once off because that doesn't create a habit, right? You need to do it every single day. And Sally always says do it for 21 days in a row every single day. And then what happens is it forms a new habit, um, you know, for whatever you do through that action. And then the most important thing of all, guys, is that once you've done that, once you've got into a routine of 21 day days doing that new habit every single day, whether it's affirmations, whether it's your goal setting, whether it's making your appointments, picking up the phone, you're making 10 calls before 10 o'clock, whatever it is, you need to adopt the discipline by not slipping back into your old ways because it's so, so easy. Let's go back to the cigarettes. I decide right now with coronavirus, I can't get access to cigarettes and I'm forced to stop smoking, right? Now, I could easily stop smoking for a period of two months and then the moment the shops open up and the cigarette sales start again, I can go back and say, wow, sure, thank heavens, I can go and start a cigarette. But guess what's happened? Over a 21-day period, I formed a new habit. I could have made a decision right then and there. I've stopped smoking for two months. Let me continue being a non-smoker. So I hope I was able to help you guys unpack that as well. And I know Sally wants to add to that. So you, it takes 21 days to form a habit, but it also takes 21 days for you not to do something. And this is what I'm going to say is I've watched the groups and I've seen people that at the beginning of, of the shutdown and the hype and the fear and the negativity of the COVID, uh, they slowly every day started unplugging from their World Ventures team groups. They unplugged from their core business. They unplugged from their routines because they didn't have to do it. They, people literally took it as a two-month holiday. And I've seen people now that have formed a habit over that 21 days of not doing anything. Yeah. And they're going to find it really difficult to get back in the game. And this is what I want to tell you is that your story that comes out of this period is going to be your success story or it's going to be your bad habit story. It's going to be that one thing that you're going to look back on and say, what did we do with the two, three months? Did, were we productive or did we do what 98% of the world did? They, took, they literally took a two-month holiday. So I know what we did. Uh, and uh, it's we formed a habit. We signed up for a course that we needed to wake up at 2 a.m. every Friday morning. Guess who's waking up at 2 a.m. every day now after eight weeks? That's mm -hmm. it. And Andrew keeps saying to me, now you, you've got to change your sleeping habit. And I'm like, well, it's not such a bad thing waking up at 2 a.m. So guys, just remember this, is that you have the choice to make the decisions on what you want to do. Um, and a lot of people are going to turn around and say, oh, well, nobody else is doing anything, therefore I don't need to do anything. I want to tell you what happened last week. Martin and Dio from Uganda did 95 cycles. He made himself almost 60,000 rand in one week, excluding anything else. Uh, because what he did at the beginning of COVID, uh, he started really whacking up the Zooms and the one-on-one -on -one presentations and the team presentations. And he then eventually, after eight weeks, he hit the jackpot. So you need to understand that the lack of doing something is also going to form the lack of doing nothing habit. And if you do nothing, you're going to have zero. Close your eyes. That is exactly what's going to happen if you come out of this doing zero. Right. Okay. So let's have a look at our weekly schedule, guys. What's coming up next week? What does your calendar look like? Um, don't forget, we've got our Building for Success calendars, which we've had made. If you guys don't have one, reach out to us. We can send it to you on WhatsApp. You can print it for yourself. And Sally and I like to say that we are our biggest lineage. Um, that is our mantra at the moment. That's our affirmation. Um, we realize that we can't rely on anybody else to grow our business. It all starts and stops with us, right? So if we can set the pace, if we can start moving forward, we leave footprints behind for people to follow in our wake. And, um, you know, we just got to adopt the attitude that we are our biggest lineage and it's up to us to get the results that we want to. 
And also, you, you know what I want to share with you? Because Andrew and I, for a whole year, have had a plateau in our, in our production. We've been showing people, and particularly the last couple of weeks, we've been showing people, showing people, showing people, showing people. And uh, they either really, really don't have the money, and if they really don't have the money, there's nothing we can do to change that. Or they've got a fear of spending the money right now because they're, they're uncertain about what they can do. Um, and remember is that that's their fear, not our fear. So we keep showing people, if you're sitting in the same situation, I want to let you know it is not unique to you. It is happening to Andrew and I. I mean, Andrew and I are going through the numbers like crazy. And we just simply, simply, simply cannot seem to find that one person yet. You know, we're working with a couple of people, but they haven't found somebody. And uh, this really is what business is all about. I mean, Andrew and I do lots of insurance quotes. Doesn't mean we get all of them right. And uh, we are in World Ventures to make money. Uh, we are in World Ventures to make new friends. We're in World Ventures to travel. And I just want to touch on the travel space. On Sunday, the 7th of June, America opened up their travel, okay? They had their biggest travel day that they've seen in 90 days. And you're going to see a lot of the World Ventures people from USA are all booking Mexico at the moment because, number one, uh, you've got a 14-day you know, the, the new golden ticket, you can cancel and change that date right up to 14 days before the trip. So these guys have gone out and they're booking Mexico like crazy because it's very close for them to travel to. And they're all saying, wow, it's so amazing to be traveling again. We can't wait to travel. Guys, we joined a travel club. So you definitely want to start looking at your travel and get over this thing that nobody's traveling anymore everybody's starting to travel again. Africa, we are weeks away from travel. So while Sally's talking about travel, I just want to share something very, very quickly. I did a presentation last night. It was the first time I did it. And I, and I had to stop myself and actually take it all in because I didn't realize, you know, what I'd done. And I was talking about our product. And afterwards, that I, and I closed the presentation, I said to the guys, you know, we're a travel company and we've taken 32 holidays in a period of four years. And when I started sharing my own story, um, I pulled out um, our, our wristbands. And, you know, every time you do a dream trip with World Ventures, they give you wristbands, right? So if you can see 32 holidays in four years, I mean, that's a lot of holidays. That's a lot of memories. And that is memories that we've created with our family. And we've saved those memories. And it sits on our table, you know, in our office at home. And every time I do presentations, I look at this. And it makes me realize that we've, we've, we've had such an amazing adventure and journey with World Ventures using our product. And I know Sal always talks about pills, potions, lotions, soaps, and hope, you know, with, with other deals. And they glorified salespeople. They're going to go out there and buy stock and sell stock. We just take an amazing holiday, building the most amazing memories, um, save those memories, and uh, make money at the same time. So we're blessed, guys. While Andrew's touching on that, I'm going to quickly flip over to social media because I know everybody is obviously, you know, pushing on social media. So... What I did this week is Andrew and I got on a call. Um, it's part of our every Friday morning and it's marketing, advertising and social media. And one of the things they told us is that you need to go and find groups which have common interests with what you do. So what I did is I went and found some travel groups. I went in on Facebook. Now remember Facebook is still your biggest media platform for you to connect with people. So I went onto Facebook and, uh, I, and it was 2 a.m. in the morning and I went and I Googled female entrepreneurs groups, okay, uh, network marketing female groups because I particularly want to connect with boss ladies. And uh, I also looked up some, some travel groups. You know, there's there's people that put together and they connect and they book travel together or they share their travel photos and stuff like that. And this morning I woke up and on the one group, this lady had said that, you know, she feels a little stuck in where she is right now and she's looking for a new opportunity, something she can do part time. So, you know, can somebody, you know, just give her some options? So I hopped onto her profile and guess what? All her interests on her profile were travel kayaking, mountain climbing. Uh, harking in the woods, going on holiday with her family. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just sent her a quick DM and said, you know, hi Amanda, uh, just connecting with you through the group. 
And I see that you are open right now to taking a look at some things. So, you know, I'm in a very exciting uh, industry at the moment. And it looks like from your interest that it might appeal to you. Would you mind uh, taking a look? She replied back, sure. So I've sent her the link. And obviously, you know, waiting for her to come back to me a little later today because our time zones are two different time zones. So just remember that. Go to Facebook. You want to go, you know, and find out what your interest is as well, not just about travel. You don't want to just be bulldozing people because you're going to connect with people in those groups, which maybe have a common interest with you. Maybe you're into boxing and, you know, that way you can, you can build up and be uh, in contact with them because people will deal with people that they know, trust and like. So remember on Facebook, you have to build up a little bit of a relationship and a commonality between the two of you. Yeah, we'll also, we'll, we'll do a, a, um, a Facebook and social media training to help you guys out as well um, as another segment altogether. It's, it's a very exciting and um, we're learning all the time. We're having a lot of fun with it as well. So guys, very quickly, I want you to set one goal for yourself in the next seven days. When we have this um, training again on Saturday next week, I'm, I'm hoping that you guys, you know, can put your hand up and raise, uh, you know, raise your hands in the next um, online webinar and say that you've got one sign up. So let's just... Let's just set it up right now. Let's have the mindset. Let's affirm it to ourselves. I want to have one sign up. I'm not talking about a group sign up. I'm talking personal. about a personal sign up, yeah. which means you personally need to see at least or invite at least 10 people to an online presentation in the next seven days to get that one sign up. So let's, let's um, do it a, a team culture. Let all of us right now, you know, put that up on our groups that we want to have one sign up. So let's just do the lineup for today. Um, yeah, we've Rich. obviously got um, Africa IMD Blitz happening today. And uh, Stanley just mentioned the word leverage. So let's leverage off the system that, you know, Team Expansion and World Ventures has created for us. And we've got some IMDs literally every hour on the hour today, guys. It's exciting. CAT is South African time. What does it stand for again? Uh, Central African time zone. And, and obviously EAT is East Africa time zone. Okay. So what you must do, guys, just very quickly screenshot this. Um, just look at the, the presentation, present presenters that you are um, happy with. Um, in, I mean, they're all great. But it could also um, be the time that the person's available. Yeah, that is uh, that as well. Um, for me, I'm going to straight away look at um, Matt Morris at 5 p.m. And if I'm going to be contacting people right now, I'm going to say get on with Matt Morris. Um, so let's maybe look at that as well. And there's the Zoom ID. So make sure you have that as well. Because remember, if you invite them to see the information, you need to know where you're sending them to, right? So you need to give them the meeting ID. So we are going to be starting with our online invite. Babe, do you want to um, go through the invite with Yeah, them? sure. So, hey, Sadie, hope you're good or hope you're great. Uh, having a good Saturday or happy Saturday. There is some serious money to be made for the right person. It may be you. Are you open free today? And give them some options. You know, whatever time we've got there, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 7 p.m. And make sure you know which country they're in, which time zone, because I'm connecting with a lot of people in Ghana at the moment, and I need to put their time zone, not my time zone, because otherwise they might come back to me and say they're free at South African time and it doesn't work for them, right? So why do I say there's some serious money to be made for the right person? Because I'm doing completely cold market at the moment. Um, it's not people, it's everybody that I just connected with during the week. Um, and generally, I try and get them onto an online Zoom within 48 hours. Guys, I'm leveraging off everybody else's webinars at the moment. Um, I don't necessarily have to be doing a one-on-one -on -one presentation all day long. So just remember, we, we've got a business and we've got a business. So we are doing both of them. But what we are doing is we're capitalizing off our 24 hours in a big, big way at the moment. So uh, just make sure that you know your times. And what I do is I actually had the times written down on a piece of paper now when I WhatsApp. And again, my broadcast group, depending which broadcast group I'm going to, if it's Egypt, it's the same time zone as South Africa. If it's Mauritius, they're two hours ahead of me. If it's Ghana, they're two hours behind. Nigeria is one hour behind. So guys, uh, just an interesting thing that um, I've been noticing this week is that Africa is super, super rich in everything that we do. Um, so you definitely wanna be connecting with all the African markets, number one, and also speak their language. And what I mean by that is, you know, you don't wanna be running off on a tangent talking about like travel at the moment if their main priority is money. 
So I ask a couple of questions when, when I'm connecting with people. I say to them, hey, can I ask you three simple questions? And the questions that I'm asking them is, number one, what are they doing right now work-wise or business-wise? Number two, um, would, would they be open to looking at, at, at doing something as a part-time income that they could use their laptop or their smartphone? Because I need to know if they've got those two things, right? Because you need that to do the business. And then the last thing is I ask them is, you know, do you travel? And if so, how often? Because when they answer me, if they say to, if they say to me, hey, Sally, I don't travel. I'd like to travel in a year, but right now I need to focus on money. I'm going straight in there's some serious money to be made. Uh, so if they want to travel more, then obviously I'm going to say to them, hey, I'm part of something that I've done, you know, multiple uh, holidays over the last four years. So guys, just connect and ask maybe two or three questions, but put it all in one. You don't want them jumping through too many hoops when you send the invite, right? Your main priority is you want to try and do one or two WhatsApps, or one or two phone calls, and then get them to see the information. What I love about this industry, guys, it's, it's so simple. And, you know, we, we try and um, be perfect um, at the script or, or, or at the invite. And I made that same mistake. You know, I, I delayed the process for so long because I thought I have to be professional. I have to be perfect at it. I have to know exactly step by step how it has to be so I can go through the, through the systems to the end result, right? And I realized that I was just delaying my own success. I was delaying my own results through this. And we made it so simple through the Quick Coach videos as well. And the inviting is your ATM machine. You know, like I said before, if we're selling stock, you know, we're going to sell it like a car salesman, right? They need to, they need, they need a, a stock of cars to sell. Um, with us, it's our invite list. And we need to invite people to see a presentation in order to make money. So it's a script, guys. You know, it's in front of you right now. And that's gold to you because you're going to copy and paste that, whether it's into a WhatsApp or whether it's on the phone, you can basically read it, guys. That's what I love about this. You don't have to be a rocket scientist, you know, to be good at inviting. Read a script. And it's as simple as this. Hey, Bongani, I hope you're great. Listen, there's some serious money to be made for the right person. It may be you. Um, are you free today at whatever time? I just need 20 minutes of your life. That's it. What is it? That's why I'm inviting you. Trust me. You know, it's as simple as that, guys. It's just a script. So we're going to take five minutes out and we're going to use the same script right now. I want you guys to maybe just copy and paste it into a WhatsApp message to a couple of people. And what I like to do is I have, I have this inv invitation in my notes on my phone. It's already pre-written and all I do is I edit the person's name and obviously the time. So you guys have got the times right now, you know where they are. So maybe you can say, are you free today for 20 minutes and just see when they are available and then you can get them onto the time that's closest to the time that they're free, right? So we're gonna take five minutes out guys, copy and paste this and let's do some inviting and let's see if we can try and get some invites onto a presentation and guys if you do please i want you to put it in the comments on the screen got one got two whatever the case may be let's some, create some excitement or maybe even post it on your groups as well got a presentation from our training event today and um we're gonna start off with five minutes
Okay, how's it going, guys? We've got just less than three minutes to go, so I hope it's going great. I hope the inviting process is working for you. I hope the script is getting you guys great results. And try, guys, please, just keep copying and pasting. You will get one. It's power of numbers, guys. That's what it is. Law of averages. Takes 10 people. Who knows? Two people will be free. Great, guys. I hope that worked for you. And, you know, before we go to the next screen, I just want to say that, you know, for our new people joining your business, this is crucial that they get it on the Saturdays because this is where we're going to help them with their basics on inviting. And this is what they need, guys. They need this. So if you find somebody that joins your team, whether it's in your downline, it doesn't have to be you personally sponsoring somebody, um, pay attention to your lineage because if somebody, you know, gets introduced to your business, they're the newest person with the most contacts, right? So you want to get them in on a Saturday and get them involved in the culture and what we do and the support that we give and helping them with the invite. And, you know, it, it gives them the opportunity also to ask us questions at the end as well um, so we can help them in their journey. So congratulations, guys. We're up to 2,800 members um, on our Building for Success Facebook page. And we are excited. We want to try and get this to at least 3,000 you know, by the end of the week. So if you guys can, can participate with us and make sure that your entire um, team are obviously plugged in and we are going to start doing some live broadcasts as well on Facebook very, very soon as well. And then Sally just wants to talk about the promo which ends on the 17th of June, guys. I'm super excited about this because we have got, and sorry guys, but the boss ladies are in the running on this one. So we do have a couple of boss ladies which are neck and neck. Uh, you know, we got the two promos. So obviously the one is the Samsung Galaxy with the $100 travel card. And the other one is Session Governors, the Millionaire Student eBook and a hundred US dollars in cash. So those are the two promos. 
Uh, it's anybody right now could uh, literally jump up and grab either one of these promos, but there are some boss ladies in the running. So well done, guys. And they both are going to be ending on the 17th of June. We will then obviously go through to the stats, which is so nice because Facebook runs all the stats on this. And we will be able to have our winners announced probably a day or two after we close the, the competition date. So well done. So there's still time to win it, guys. You know, we've got a few days left. So, you know, you can still pip the ladies at the end and, uh, you know, get that lovely Samsung Galaxy. It's amazing, guys. It's wrapped up in a box. It's brand new and um, such an amazing social media tool for years as well. And it's free, guys. You know, all you have to do is invite people. So don't, um, don't snooze on that. So I want to close off before we obviously open up the screen at the end. And I want to ask you guys on the call right now two questions. And these two questions that I'm going to ask you right now is going to give you the result of where you are placed right now in terms of the, the production that you're getting out of your business. So my first question to you right now is, when was the last time you actually invited someone to a presentation? Hopefully you've managed to invite somebody today. Maybe you never made last week's um, training session. Maybe it's been a month since you actually picked up the phone and invited someone to be a presentation. So from you guys right now, only you will know when you physically actually participated in the invitation process. So ask yourself that question. And the next one I want to ask you is when was the last time you actually did your own presentation yourself? Whether it was a one-on-one, -on -one, whether it was a online Zoom meeting, when was the last time you actually did a presentation? I can tell you right now there's hundreds of people in our group and not many of them have actually done a presentation themselves. So you want to invite people to presentations and you want to be in control of your own business. You want to be the CEO of your own income. And the only way to do that is to take control of the activity and focus on your own activity, guys, and do your own presentations. And if you do those two things, doing presentations and inviting people to presentations, guess what's going to happen? That is going to determine the success and the speed of your business right now. So pay attention to those. And those that will obviously give you the results that you're looking for. So we did a affirmation last week, which um, Sally shared, um, a new attitude changed our life. That was the last week's one. And today's affirmation is, I will face whatever comes today with a positive attitude. So I want you guys to be positive. I want you to have the right attitude. And whatever comes from today, guys, um, we want you guys to focus on a positive attitude and talk as if it has already happened because you want to call it into your life as well. So that's it, guys. We're going to unmute. We're going to ask you guys at the very end if there's any questions, if there's anything that you're battling with. Um, I'm going to open up the chat bar right now. And somebody like Nelson says, love your energy, our mentors. <laughs> I'm be Sally and Andrew. Uh, it's fun and exciting for you guys to explain what you do. So thanks so much, Nelson. Appreciate you, my brother. Appreciate everything that you do. Um, you're a great leader. And I wish that we could duplicate more of you guys um, like you in our business as well. So guys, if there's any other questions, um, you can unmute yourself right now. And if anybody has a question for us, whatever it is, um, we are available for you in the next minute or two. If anybody has a question to ask us. Yes, yes, boss. Can you hear me? There we go. Nelson, over to you, brother. Yes, what have you got for us today? Yes, uh, boss, man, thank you. Thank you so much once again for all these Saturdays. Every Saturday, you deliver and even over deliver. We truly really appreciate your leadership, Shalom Andrew. So now here's my question: How do you handle the people that have been in in the game, and uh, for some reason they are no more active? They are no more like doing the daily routine thing that we actually need to do. But uh, they are still keeping in, in like in touch with you. Sometimes they check on you. How is this like system that it's like they are still throwing in some conversation to you yet they are no more doing anything you find that even when great question. Uh, they have the cost that's that's a great, great question because that's not that's not um, exclusive to, to you, Nelson. Um, everybody on this group right now is in some form having a bit of challenges with regards to people in their team not doing anything. Now, here's the thing. How do we motivate those people? We can't, right? There's only two things we can do. We can motivate them through our personal activity. Are we doing enough to get their attention in order for them to follow us? And the second thing is, are we getting them to training? 
So you guys on the call right now, the training does that for us. So we need to make sure that they are booked in for boot camp, and that is on the 4th and the 5th of July, $49. You can choose anyone, really. um, you, can choose anyone you really want to. There's a, there's a choice. So get them, to, get them to a training. And guys, we need to focus on our own activity. And you know what's been happening? And it's very frustrating because Sally and I see the potential in people that they don't see in themselves. And we just wish that they would just step up and just do what they are so capable of doing, but they don't. They don't participate on the groups. They don't comment on the groups. Um, they don't do any presentations. They don't volunteer for anything. Um, they silent ninjas. They, 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 we don't know that we're forgetting their names because they, they're absent. And that is the majority of people um, that, that are on the group that are not actually participating in anything. So Nelson, my brother, um, unfortunately, it, it, it's one of those things. They signed up for whatever reason. Um, they, they signed up for whether it was the, 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 the money, um, the, 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 the travel or you know, the, the, the friendship side. And, but also it's, it's about timing. And they will come into their own timing when they are ready. And a good example of that is um, you know, the person, which was it last week, that was absent for a whole year? Which one? Um, the one on the group. Okay, so I'm not going to think about who it was because uh, here's the thing is I only remember the names which are consistently participating with me daily. So Nelson, I just want to clarify because I think there's quite a multiple a question that you're asking in one question. Number one, um, I don't, I don't personally take people off our WhatsApp groups, even if they cancel. The only time I'll take somebody off my WhatsApp groups if they're either being destructed, in other words, they're trying to cross recruit people on to another deal, um, or or they they've been you know disrupted to the group in some way. If people have been added to the bullying for success groups and maybe they've gone inactive on their account, um, they should leave the group themselves. Or maybe they want to stay on because right now people that that got terminated from World Ventures two years ago, when we've spoken back to them, they said their biggest regret was that they left for adventures because they missed the team culture, the family culture, and the travel culture. We have an incredible culture of family ship and friendship. And people sometimes don't want to leave the group because of that. So what I do is Andrew goes onto our back office and every now and again, he'll send an email to all the canceled and inactive members. And you never know, you know, they, they may come back one day again, or they may see a success story that will ignite them and excite them to get started. So that's the first thing. I, I, I'm not too sure if you're asking me, like, do you take them off the group because they're no longer active? And if they're still engaging with you, um, then there's a reason. You, need, you know, there's obviously a reason why they haven't left the groups yet. So that's the first thing. The second thing Andrew answered you, which is we can't motivate anybody when if their timing is their timing, then they're going to step up and get it done. And the second thing is, is how badly is that pain? Because what I do know is that Andrew and I have made a decision that we want to make some serious money the next 12 months. Uh, we've got money. Uh, we haven't really been affected by the COVID. Thank God we've been very, very blessed by it. But the reality is, is that I made a decision I want to make more money because uh, I really want true financial freedom. Now, I, I look at people and I think, you've got less money than what we do, but my motivation is stronger. Maybe my why is so strong that it just keeps forcing me every day to do my business. So maybe we've got to ask them, what is your why? And maybe they'll only get into action when their why really becomes bad enough for them. Um, you know, we told our children that we're going IMD. If we don't go IMD, what are we teaching our children? You, you, know, you know, Sally and I were talking about this, guys. And um, let's talk about World Ventures uh, in the analogy of a sport. So let's say, for example, we've got a team, right? And this is team building for success. A team of players, like let's say a, a soccer team. And we go to a soccer match and you're going to have a lot of reserved players sitting on the bench, spectators watching the match, but they're actually not participating in the game. Then you're going to have a couple of people on the, on, on the field, some weak players, some good players, a mixture, right? But something, they're all going to be doing something. Then you're going to have a very small section, an elite section, which is your triangle 
where they are really uplifting the team because they've got such great strengths and they're the ones that are scoring the goals, right? And it might be three players out of a whole team of 25. So you've got a lot of people sitting on the bench. You've got the majority of people on the field, but you've only got three strong players. And those are probably our builders and all benches. Those are the people that are actually doing something. The rest of the people are pretty much watching or doing maybe the bare minimum. I don't know what it is. So let's go back to what you asked, uh, Nelton. How do we change that? How do we change people in our team from doing nothing um, to actually participating? I'm going to ask you a question. Let's all agree right now that the only way to do that is for us to get on the cycle board. So let's forget about them. Let's just focus on ourselves. And if I can make a decision right now and say, guys, I want to be on the cycle board. I want to put three, two left, gold left, two gold right. I want to be on the cycle board and I want to be celebrated. I want Nelton to be celebrated. I'm going to start posting on the groups again. Nelton just got a cycle. Abelia just got a cycle. Bongong Kasi just got a cycle. Guys, you see what's going to happen? All of a sudden, people that are spectating, that are watching, are going to start watching us making money. And that is the reason why they joined, right? So it starts with us, guys. All of us on the call right now, I think there's about 13 or 14 of us on the call right now. It starts with us. So let's make a conscious decision today that we want to start making money. We want to lead from the front. We want to set the example. We want to set the pace in our business for people to follow us. Because right now, I think everybody's just like a ship without a rudder. They're kind of just going with the flow, um, you know, getting on a course. We're not really doing anything. Let's be real, right? So if we can make a conscious decision that it starts with me, I am our biggest lineage. That's the mindset that you guys are going to have right now. You can't rely on your team to go IMD. You need to rely on yourself and your activity because we're looking for the right leaders to show up in our business, right? So we have to be the leader that we want to attract in our business. Be the leader, guys. And it starts with the, with the action that you're taking right now. Let's get on the cycle board. Let's start celebrating you. Let's start celebrating others. And those people that are doing nothing will step in and want to participate. So, boss man, I hope that was, um, I was able to, to, to answer that question and sell as well. Um, let's ask another one. I think Abelia's um, said no, a couple of things. Just okay. Recapping. All right. Cool. Does anybody else have any questions, guys? Boss Lady Elizabeth is at work again. I'm loving it. Jumping on every <laughs> Saturday, girlfriend. Yo, I'm missing you guys. It's going to be fun to come back to Eswatini and see you guys. Cool, guys. So it looks like um, that's a wrap. Um, we've enjoyed having you guys on the call. We love seeing the names. It seems to be the same names, um, you know, every Saturday. But let's see if we can try and get your new people in, guys. I think that should be our homework for this week is let's see if we can try and find out who the new people are that have joined our team. As leaders, let's reach out to those people and let's get them in on our Saturday training, on our Wednesday training, get them participating. And guys, let's get on the cycle board. Let's concentrate on our gold memberships. Two left, two right. One, one, one new member each person then. So it, Sally and Andrew, I've got to do one. Andrew's got to do one. All right. And then, guys, I just want to finish off on Monday, um, and this is not going out to any particular religion, please. Uh, Deron Walker, our very, very good friend, on Monday at 4 p.m. South African time, is doing a Zoom prayer worldwide, and it's basically praying for business. Um, you know, obviously, he is a great, great guy. His energy is off the chart, and um, I think he, we're going to have a lot of fun with him. So if you are able to, on Monday at 4 p.m., I'm going to be posting that Zoom webinar. Um, I think he's going to be on literally 15, 20 minutes. And if you want to join us just to pray for everybody's businesses and obviously in and your, business. Use your business, that's what we're talking about, your business. And Deron is just a great, great individual. He is, uh, like Andrew says, it's Andrew's brother. We just love Deron. So he's also just had a new little girl, um, a little baby, and her name is Faith. So we are excited to be uh, obviously uh, on that call with uh, Deron on Monday. So guys, we're going to upload this to YouTube and you know that you're going to have access to all our training on YouTube. Make sure that your team gets access to this if you saw value out of it. Um, we want everybody to be celebrating together. So guys, have a blessed Saturday further. Have an amazing week. Focus on one. Let's all get that one personal, guys. That's the only goal that we need to do and we have to see 10 people in order to do that and let's close the week off strong. God Bye bless. guys. God bless you. Thanks for being on the call. Take care. Who's got my money?